Welcome to the picking up an open shift tutorial. Let's just switch over here. Alright, so we're just logged in as an employee user here and just gonna learn how to pick up open shift. So there's a couple different ways. We're just gonna start with uh, looking at them under shift board. So that's the first page that loads when you log in. And as you can see on the right here, that's our accepted shifts uh, for the next 20 days. So it looks like we've already got a few on our schedule, um, been assigned to a couple, but we haven't quite met our maximum. So the maximum for this store is set to 40 hours per week. That's how much you're allowed to work without uh, going into overtime. And at that point, shifts just won't show up. You won't be able to pick them up, and your manager can't assign you to them. So if we pick up enough shifts, we just won't see any more under that open shifts uh, for, for the given week where we picked up 40 hours. But as long as we're under those hours and we're qualified for the shift, so I think Gary can work as either an associate, which we see here, or a supervisor, then those shifts are going to show up. It looks like he's been assigned to both stores 001 and 009, so he can pick up shifts from either of those stores. And so that's where that's where this open shift board comes from. It's pretty much just how qualified and available we actually are. So you'll see that if we start picking up some shifts, we can uh, pick up this Monday one. All you have to do is click that check mark. It'll come up, give you a few more details about the shift, uh, kind of summarizes it. All you have to do is click pick up, and it's going to move that shift over to the right. So we see that Monday shift is now under our accepted. Um, it still looks so now now we can see that there's no more Monday shifts it starts on Wednesday as we're already working Sunday Monday Tuesday so if we were to pick up a Wednesday shift now another eight hour shift then it's gonna get rid of all the Wednesday shifts since we're no longer available and so that makes it look like we're up to I think we're up to 32 hours for the week so four shifts so I'm also gonna show you I think we can pick up one more shift if we go to calendar view this also shows all of our current shifts. So right now this is February. If we move over to, over to March, this is the week we've been looking at. is the 2nd to the 8th. And so you can see all of our shifts. If you scroll down to the very bottom here, there's a little drop-down menu that you'll see. And in that drop-down menu, that's where you can actually look at the other stores that you've been assigned to. So if we want to look at uh, the back house schedule, or we can look at the front of house, so that's where we've been picking up our shifts. Then we'll see all of these other open shifts as well. So this is just another way that we can actually pick up, pick up more, sh pick up shifts uh, rather than just see it on that kind of first page. We can also see it in this calendar view. So all the blues are ones that we've already accepted, and all these reds are shifts that are open. So that's kind of what we have that color set to. So if we click on any one of these shifts. We can again see all the details for it, where it's at, the address, and then we can pick up a shift from here. And I'll just confirm that we want to. And as soon as we've done that, it reloads, and uh, there's our five shifts for the week. If we then go back to the home page, the shift board, we're going to notice that it no longer has found any shifts. And so even though we had seen shifts before for Saturday and Sunday, um, it's not showing them because we've reached our maximum 40 hours for the week. So that is picking up an open shift. Thanks for watching.